Pans and Pioneers, today I'm going to show you my sour cream waffles. They're super simple. I'm not going to use the fluffy egg whites. This is just a southern um, waffle recipe. So what we're going to do is start with two and a half cups of all-purpose, uh, I'm using organic flour. I'm going to use a teaspoon, or excuse me, I have a teaspoon of salt. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to use a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to use uh, three teaspoons of baking powder and I'm using the one with no aluminum and there it's not GMO. And we're going to do two teaspoons, I say heaping teaspoons of sugar and I'm using per can sugar. Mix this all around. Get it all incorporated. And then we're going to do two eggs. And I'm using organic eggs. My chickens haven't started laying yet, so I'm still buying eggs. going to use it's a half a stick of butter that's not all the way melted. going to use a teaspoon, heaping teaspoon of vanilla. going to use about a fourth of a cup of sour cream. And I'm going to add milk until I get the waffle consistency. You can use this for pancakes too, but You'll have a lot of pancakes. I'm using this recipe for waffles because it, my waffle maker, you know, it, it has four big waffles and so I don't want to not have enough batter. And you want the lumps. bit more milk. You can also substitute buttermilk for whole milk. I'm using whole organic milk, but the buttermilk would even make it better. Let's move to the waffle iron. Okay, so as your batter sits here, because of the um, baking powder, you're gonna get a real frothy batter like this. It's gonna start to already have bubbles because it's gonna activate. 
But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a measuring cup and I'm just gonna spray the inside. And when this comes up to temperature, we're gonna move the batter. I'm gonna scoop it and put it into the waffle. Right, our waffle iron is beeped, so it's ready to go. And I'm going to batter in here. I kind of go in the center and then I push it down and it'll fan out. And we're gonna let it cook. Okay. Here are the waffles. go. Crispy on the outside and really tender on the inside. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll try these sour cream waffles. They're really good. I'm using the Log Cabin No High Trose Fructose Corn Syrup and uh, it's our, one of our favorites. Anyway, I hope you'll try this recipe, and I will post it on our blog page. Everybody have a great day, and find somebody to bless. See you on the next video.